So what does Elon Musk, investor, entrepreneur, and business magnet, and the CEO, founder, and chief engineer of SpaceX and chief architect at Tesla have in common with me and with you? It's sales, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I think we're on the same page here. It's sales. This man has figured out how to positively impact millions, in fact, billions of lives around this planet while selling a product and a service. And the whole emphasis of today's video is selling and making sales and how to simplify the process so that you can make $1,000 a day, $1,500, $2,000 a day or more and fast track your way to success for the goals that you want to have with your online business, personal brand or small business, whatever it is you're trying to focus on and monetize. So if you're excited about this lesson on sales today, go ahead and type in the comments, sales is service. That's right. And a quick announcement for those of you watching today's video, I have a free training coming up called my subscribers to sales masterclass. And if you've been enjoying my free content on YouTube, you're going to absolutely love the content and free training that I have coming up planned for you. So go ahead and go to marissaromero.com forward slash masterclass and sign up for the free training once it drops next week, or it may have already been released by the time you're watching this video, but we're going to dive way more into the topic of sales, creating a profitable online business with leveraging the YouTube platform, the three common mistakes to avoid when getting started online and with your YouTube channel and the top three monetization strategies that you should be focusing on. So be sure to click the first link in the description to get on the wait list and register today. Okay, so the first tip to sales and making money with a product is to figure out if your product can sell and most importantly, if it works, okay? So what this means is whether you're selling your own digital product or whether you're promoting or selling another person's offer or digital product online, it's all the same. You have to make sure it really is serving people. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means that the thing or the problem that this product is solving is really solving the problem. So for example, going back to Elon Musk and his example and the rush, the internet gold rush of the dot-com era, when the internet was first getting invented, Elon Musk figured out a way to create the Yellow Pages, the Yellow Pages book, that book that was about three inches thick and weighed about seven pounds. Um, it was the only way that people were able to get information to look up businesses, phone numbers, people's information around the city. But what Elon Musk did was he created a product on this brand new dot com internet that was able to create a database where people can look up all of these names and businesses and phone numbers instantly without having to go downstairs, <laughs> um, pick the Yellow Pages book that was current, open it up, search with their finger, and try to locate the information that they were looking for. And everybody was like, no, Elon, um, this is kind of a dumb idea. You're never going to be able to replace the Yellow Pages, come on. <laughs> and now some of you that are younger watching this video are like, what are the Yellow Pages, right? Because it's become obsolete. So essentially, the bigger the problem and the more painful the problem you can solve and whatever gap that's missing in the marketplace that you're able to solve, the more money you're going to be able to get paid and make from this product and verify that this product works for others. And it does indeed get people results. Another example is Jeff Bezos. And the reason why he's a super duper billionaire entrepreneur is because he solved a billionaire problem with the creation of amazon.com. People no longer have to go somewhere physically, get in the car, drive, fill up their gas tank if necessary, go to a brick and mortar store, look at the size, choose the color, go to checkout and all that. No. Now with Amazon, you can order products that arrive literally within a day for some of them. And he was able to see the demand for people wanting to gain back their time. So they don't have to waste their time going and buying these products. Now there is this thing where this truck pulls up to your door and rings the doorbell and boom, you have your product right there. And he's also made it super simple to even return the products with the shipping label if you don't approve the product or want to give it back. And keep in mind before we move on to the next tip and hack that I have for you today about sales, you don't have to solve the next billion dollar problem, okay, to make really good money online. Um, and you know, if you're looking to make your first hundred dollars a day online, to a thousand to two thousand still you don't have to solve a billion dollar problem so don't get intimidated by that just start with 
the simple things and what you know, like your interests ma matched with your expertise and matched with what people are already asking you and what is already in demand of you is something that could be very, very, very profitable. So I've gone over this actually in another video and I'll leave the link up here and in the description as well. Um, about profitable course creation so you could have so you could have a little bit more insight on that But don't let you feeling like oh my the problem that I can solve isn't profitable enough. Trust me. It is <laughs> You know, you may not be a super multi-billionaire from it, but you could be a millionaire from it <laughs> The next tip for more sales the profitable way and to make your desired amount of income online every single day is a view system so how are you going to get traffic and views and eyeballs to whatever it is you're selling this is the million dollar and even billion dollar question right and something that people struggle with for sure in the beginning of their business journey so let me break it down and what i think is the fastest way to growing your audience and a lot of views and for me it getting started or when i got started and what i tell people that are getting started is take your path of least resistance to dominating a traffic source. So in the beginning, you don't want to overwhelm your efforts. You want to be able to focus on one type of traffic source and that's it. And depending on your future goals and what you envision your life to be like and what your short-term goals are and how you're envisioning your life in the next one to five years, you may have to put in a little bit of upfront work and harder work now and work that you may not want to do, but it'll be so worth it in the long run and making the sales machine really pop. And so for this reason, I do recommend that people only focus on one traffic source, but they start with the one that is the most high quality, the most profitable, and that is SEO based traffic. And since I'm talking to you today here on YouTube, I'm going to talk specifically about YouTube because that's basically my expertise. If you start on YouTube, one YouTube video can be converted into so many different things. Okay. One YouTube video can be repurposed into a quote card for social media. It could be repurposed into several different teaser clips, short form clips. It could be repurposed into audiograms and even it could be repurposed to put on different types of platforms like a podcast platform, etc. But from one YouTube video, <laughs> you could make your content aka your traffic go so much further and have different algorithms not just the youtube algorithm push your content to brand new viewers who've never seen you before but really really need your content and what it is that you are selling so this is really important to understand in the beginning is where are your efforts going to give you the most bang for your buck okay so for example if you make let's say a 10 minute youtube video you can go back in that video and convert it into four different clips that could serve as 60 second clips that could be put on Instagram reels that could be put on TikTok and also YouTube shorts. So you can select a thought leader clip or your, you know, maybe you have a clip, um, a couple of clips that you put together that forms three different tips and hacks right so that clip right there could serve as a youtube short so we all know youtube shorts reels and also TikTok are very viral algorithms right now and they give you mega exposure so if you're dominating with both long form content and short form content this is huge okay and so this is why it's really fun to focus on youtube first because with that you can create so many other forms of content and not only that a solid foundation of traffic that is going to set the set your business foundation for years and years to come because imagine it like every piece of content that you post especially on the seo based youtube platform it's kind of like setting little online real estate money making machines right because these pieces of content are evergreen and they're going to last a lifetime okay as long as you are building up your business and your audience they are going to serve you and therefore generate traffic for years to come and therefore generate sales for you to come and so i can make a separate video about this strategy if you want me to but i also dive way deeper into this topic if you're interested in watching my upcoming masterclass, the subscribers to sales 
training, the first link in the description. I highly suggest you watch it because I go deeper into getting the algorithm going and creating lots of views and subscribers faster and even explaining if you don't have any channel to start how you can grow a small and mighty audience very fast that converts. So be sure to click the first link in the description. And so the next major tip I have for simplifying this process and generating more sales is your lead flow. We need to keep track and understand your lead flow. So first off, what this means is that you're going to need an, an online business tool or a tool that's going to help you collect and host your leads. It's gonna allow you to build your list. Um, I'll leave my favorite recommendations down in the description. I actually did a full tutorial on system.io like two videos ago, so you could check that out if you'd like. Um, it's an online business tool that helps you create sales funnels and generate leads and helps you analyze the data, which is what we're talking about in this tip is your lead flow and how many leads you need on your list to generate one sale. That's the whole point of understanding and planning to generate more sales. So let's say with the traffic efforts you have now, you are, for example, generating a thousand views on your social media platform, which is bringing you, let's say maybe a hundred leads per month, something like that. And out of those leads, you're getting two sales per a hundred leads just as an example. So that is going to give you some key information and things to track. So you're going to get into the flow of figuring out, okay, so if I'm getting X amount of views on you know, reels and also X amount of views on my YouTube channel, combined these views equal 5,000 views per month. And this is approximately bringing in 150 leads per month. And this is a really great benchmark to then understand a couple of things, especially the number of conversions or sales that you're getting and also what these leads are buying at what price point for maybe the different products that you're promoting. Okay, so this brings me to my next tip about making more sales and generating your desired income every single day and that is conversion rates. Now, what is a conversion rate? A conversion rate could be um, whatever type of goal you are trying to achieve. So a conversion rate could be the number of leads opting into a sales page. A conversion rate could mean the number of sales that you're getting per webinar registrations. Okay, it all depends on the goal, but in this case, we're going to refer to conversion rates as the number of sales or the percentage of sales and how well it converts when a lead or potential client sees the offer. So for example, let's say you are selling a digital product um, that costs $100, okay? And let's say you're promoting one affiliate program where you make um, a recurring commission of $30 per month per sale that you convert. And let's say that you offer a client-based service, a one-on-one -on -one coaching service where you make $1,000 a month um, from one client, something like that. Okay, so you have a lower ticket price point. You have a, I wouldn't say mid, but another lower ticket price point at $100. And then you have your mid to higher ticket at $1,000 a month with whatever you're doing. So for each of these, you can figure out like which one's converting the highest. Typically in our market and in our industry, conversion rates are on average from one to 2%. So this means if you have 100 leads viewing the product, you're on average going to make one to two sales. This doesn't sound like a lot, but this is just kind of like the standard and the benchmark. For example, in our company, our premium program subscribers to sales historically has had a conversion rate between six to seven to 8%. So it's a little bit higher than the industry standard, which makes a big difference, especially when we're getting, you know, hundreds of leads per day, it makes a big difference. So we need to figure out what your conversion rates are. So with affiliate products, it's really easy to ask the company like, hey, what is the conversion rate of this product that I'm promoting, <laughs> that I want to promote? Some, some affiliate programs and companies know their numbers to a T. They say with cold traffic, it converts at 3%. With warm traffic, it converts at 9%, something like that. And they'll even be able to tell you like what percentage of people buy their upsells and buy you know further products with them, which then puts, puts hopefully puts more money in your pocket, right? So these are good numbers to know. And then also you can figure out these numbers roughly with your product. And just side note, if you're thinking, well, it'll probably be easier to make more sales if I'm promoting the lower ticket product at the lower price point because people can afford more or more people can afford this product, don't think that way because it's just as easy to sell a higher ticket product 
as it is a lower ticket $20 or $100 product. I promise I figured this out right away in my back in 2018 when I first started my career. And this was a game changer for me to realize this, like people will buy a higher ticket price point product. All right, so the next tip that we're talking about here goes right along with leads and conversion rates, and that is key performance indicators. And if you're like, oh my God, that sounds really technical. It's not, I promise. It's it's just a matter of you know pulling up a Google Sheet. You know, everyone has Google Sheet in their Google. Um, if you have a Gmail, it's like creating a Google Doc or whatever, it's the Excel version of Google Doc. And you can start to track these numbers every single week. So what you can do are monitor things like unique page visits. You can monitor how many people who visited a page actually opted in. So maybe it's a webinar registration. So from those unique visits, how many people actually opted in or registered for what you have to offer. And then from those amount of opt-ins, you can keep track of the people who entered or opted in. You can keep track of their behavior and you can keep track of who viewed the sales page of your product and who actually bought. And so the key performance indicators are really important because like any entrepreneur, any successful business, any billionaire that has, you know, a billion billion dollar problem solving business, they know that the key to increasing their conversion rate and their sales is to improve the product and always be improving your service. And this doesn't have to take a lot of effort. So whatever it is you're selling, you can get feedback along the way so that you're always having people tell you, hey, you know, this part confused me or it would have been nice if we could have this part. And so over time, the quality of your product is going to have a direct impact on your sales and the results that these clients of yours and these students of yours are getting. And so with key performing indicators, these numbers and the data are going to tell you everything you need to know about how your product is performing. And it's the same thing with anything that you look at. So if you're looking at um, analytics from the Instagram algorithm, if you're looking at analytics with the YouTube algorithm. It's all about data-based and data-driven decisions and results. The next tip that I have for you to really increase your sales and increase your revenue over time is to create a business for you and your lifestyle. And this might be a little bit like, wait a minute, huh? But I'm serious when I say this, I mean that your business has to work for you. So again, you really, I recommend taking a step back and visualizing what it is you want and what it, where it is you see yourself in two years, in three years, your dream life, what does it look like? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Are you spending more time with your children, your family? Are you traveling more? Are you participating more in community events? I bring this up because that is all important to know now so that you can center your online business around your goal life basically your goal outcomes and what it is you want to do because the bottom line is you can't duplicate your time okay so if you're for example doing one-on-one coaching eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to pivot to serving one-to-one to to serving one to several doing group coaching or one to several in the form of an online course. And I really had to have a big wake up call and learn this the hard way. For the past three years or so, my mentality has always been go, go, hustle culture. I love, I really do love my work and love what I do. And at the making of this video, I am actually eight months pregnant and will be giving birth to a baby boy really soon. And so I had to think of this and take my own advice and say, hey, wait a minute. What type of work schedule do I want to create for my family and my loved ones in the future? So if I only want to work four hours a day, five days or even four days a week, I'm going to have to be able to make my business model work for me instead of the other way around. Because let's also talk about this thing called Parkinson's law, which actually I don't know the exact definition at the top of my head, but Parkinson's law basically says like if you take away eight hours of your scheduled work hours during the day. And let's say you narrow it down to say three hours. You only have three hours to get something done. You're gonna focus uh, in those three hours on those things that are going to push the needle forward. That's why with all these steps, it's so important to really focus on your views and what traffic system you want. Like I mentioned in the beginning, it's super important to focus on one thing at a time and not several. I can't emphasize this 
enough. So at the end of the day, it's really important to make sure you're integrating factors where you're not strictly trading your time for money in your business all the time. You're able to little by little pull yourself out of the workspace so that you're able to create more time freedom and to have the flexibility that your business gives you. So if you're interested in learning way more about this topic and creating more sales and turning your subscribers to sales with your YouTube channel, definitely check out my masterclass right here. Go ahead and click the button to sign up, secure your seat. I don't know how long this class will be available. It's brand new training that I put together. And so I will see you in this class and this training so that you can create that online business of your dreams.